code signal. Arcane. Elections winners. Hello everybody, my name is Joshua and I'll be solving elections winners. Let's begin. So, elections are in progress. Woohoo! Given an array of the number of votes given to each number of candidates so far, an integer k equals to the number of voters who haven't cast their vote yet. Find the number of candidates who still have a chance to win the election. Alright, and the winner of the election must secure strictly more votes than any other candidate. If two or more candidates receive the same maximum number of votes, assume there's no winner at all. So some scenarios to consider, um, right at the top of my head. Oh boy, I should have planned this out. Note to self Joshua, plan before recording. It could be zero votes. Oops, sorry about that. There could be zero votes. And when there are zero votes, um, there's some scenarios to consider in that array. There could be everyone has a different amount of votes. There could be a situation where there could be two people with sharing the top tie. There could be a scenario where all people share the same number of votes. All right, and there's a time when there could be greater than zero votes for the same scenarios above right here. All right. So let's think about this. In a situation like this, there's definitely going to be one winner only. In a situation like this, there are no winners going with that um, two or more candidates receive the same number of maximum votes. In this case, definitely that same rule since, you know, that um, the same, two or more candidates receive the same maximum number of votes, um, no winner at all. Now here, if it's greater than zero, now we have to use this k condition that we add to each of these candidates, and if it's more than whatever this, whatever the maximum of this is, it's going to be um, whatever. Let's, see, let's just put it this way: um, position plus k, the value at position but plus k is greater than the maximum value, which is four at this case, and that's going to be the number of people that um, have a chance of winning. Now here. It's definitely going to be the same concept. Value and position plus k is greater than max. Um, same situation right here. Value and position plus k is greater than max. Yeah, and in most likely at this case, it's going to be probably <laughs> everyone's. Um, it's going to be this whole sum of array. And as a matter of fact, why am I even doing this? It's going to be, let's just say. Um, number of candidates. All right, now with that in mind, let's solve this thing. So some things to consider. Um, I want to, sometimes we want to make sure we don't go over the same candidate that had that max vote. So let's just, for example, do this with max position. Let's just start with negative one for now. We'll initialize that, but once we find that candidate with the maximum values, we'll target that value. Int, um, Max. We definitely want that max. And we'll just put this in min value for now. Initialize it that way. Um, and we want to know number of winners. I think in this case it could be valid to say that yeah, we'll definitely need the number of winners right here and we'll see how that goes. Alright. So first we go through each vote. Uh, do position equals zero. Position is less than votes.length. Um, actually, let me just do this here. Num of candidates equals votes dot length. Let's just make it easier for everyone to read. Sweetie. All right. Position plus plus. All right. Now let's see. Um, if votes of position is greater than max, then two, there are a few things we have to do. Max position is equal to position. Uh, max is equal to, um, let's see, max is equal, sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second. Max equals position, that's the most important thing we have to mark. And winners is equal to one. Now, else if votes of that position is equal to max, what do we do then? Then winners plus plus, we increment that one. Now you can see why I initialized the winners equals one. Because if there's a bunch of winners at the same time, we definitely want to keep a counter of that so that we can detect cases that are like these right below. Okay, let's begin to the next part. Now with that in mind, what can we do? 
I will create a scenario if hmm if there are if k is equal to zero I think we could already safely assume that if winners is greater than one it's greater than one and it's just zero then we could just return zero otherwise let's go through the loop again um, and this time since we know who since there's at least one winner let me just go create a for loop into position equals zero so now I'm gonna go through the for loop again and now I want to count with this k the number of k votes how many potential winners we're gonna get Zero position is less than number of candidates, position plus plus. All right, so I think I use this max position because, um, let's see about this one. So if max position, and now I think I'm gonna just initialize this to winners equals one for now, because we know that, that the max position represents that one person, but we wanna see all the other candidates if they have a chance of beating this candidate. And I'll do max position, if max position equals position, um, we just want to continue the iteration. We just ignore um, ignore the calculations underneath it. Um, let's see about this. Votes, position, and the calculation is this. If votes position plus k is greater than um, the max value, the max votes, then we want to increment winners plus plus. And then after we're done, we just return winners. Now you might be asking, okay, but why can't we just initialize winners equals zero and we can just remove this continue loop? The, po the problem with that is that if there's zero votes and we come across the same candidate, but votes plus K is greater than max, it's going to return as zero. That's why I initialize it as one and we just ignore if max position equals, equals position right there. Perhaps there's a better way to write this. Please comment below if so. I think this is good. Let me run my test and see if this works. There might be some tactical errors. I probably should have looked at it before I even ran it. Bad practice, Joshua. Don't do that again. It happens to pass. Would it have passed if I submit it? Ho ho ho! I won the election. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll walk over one more time. So we initialize the minimum value and max position. Winners equals zero. So now there's a number of candidates. Um, so we, once we get the instance of the maximum value, we record its position and the maximum number of votes, and we put the number of winners equals one. But if there's matching ones with that maximum value, we increment to plus plus. And if there's more than one winner and there's zero votes, we always return zero because it handles these scenarios right below. And now I initialize with winners equals one, just in case there might be the scenario where there's zero votes. But we just want that one winner then. Um, and let's think about this. Uh, and we just go through to see if votes plus K is greater than max. I think I could actually shorten this. Let's hold on for a second. So otherwise, if here, I can do this maybe. Let's just experiment. So if K equals equals to zero, I'm going to do this one below. And... Um, let's say k equals zero and winners is not greater than one, then we just return one. Oh wow, yeah, that's a good point. I can actually just do that, and I don't have, and I could just um, if I do return one right here, I could just return one if there's only one candidate that's a winner. There always has to be at least one winner. Then I could put this into zero, and I could just remove this check statement actually. And if I run my test, I think it should still work. Yes. Okay, so I found a way to um, refactor my code a little bit better. I think it's going to be more improved for, you know, better coverage and better time and space complexity. Um, it's, I think, like only 2n, where n is the number of candidates, um, both in, uh, it's in, only in time complexity. In space complexity, it's pretty constant time, which is good. All right, guys, thank you for watching, and if you like and subscribe, um, I don't know if you know this, I'm in a YouTube election. Every subscription is a vote for me to be the YouTube president. So if you do, I will give you guys uh, free health care um, and a base income salary for all YouTube content creators. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Have a good day.